Welcome back to We're Not Really Here. Thank you for joining us. My name is Kel Spellman and it is half time over in Germany and we are currently 1-0 down against Borussia Dortmund. 2-2 on aggregate but of course with Dortmund having that away goal as it stands they will be going through to the semi-finals but do not fear still 45 minutes still to come and I guess where we want to begin on a positive note Richard the back end of that first half was closer to the city that we were hoping to see at the beginning of the game, I think. Yeah, um, there was certainly some good parts of that, that half. You know, there was chances created. There was um, good good possession of the ball. It's just obviously the, the goal set us back a little bit. I think City need to, on Saturday as well, the same. We've got into a, a style where we start crossing a lot of balls into the box. And the, the, part, the cross has to be inch perfect because of the height of the players. And... I think City are always better when they're intricate and they play through the centre of, of oppositions and I think a little bit more of that tonight will will create the opportunities because we said before and we don't think Dortmund are amazing defensively but tonight they've blocked stuff, they've got their bodies in the way but how long they can do that for, hopefully not too long. I think Alistair Mann alluded to as well, a lot of those players had played at the weekend so maybe fatigue might creep in but um, Kevin, we, we were talking about before the game, uh, play the game, not the occasion. Did it feel like... The occasion almost got to City there when we were after back kick-off. It looked it early on. They looked a little bit back foot. Give Dortmund credit. They they come out flying. They pressed the ball really well in numbers. And their game plan, I suppose, was to try and score early, which they have done. Um, the tie's off. The tie's <laughs> off. But, <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but... but yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be back on. Um, I'm still sticking with it. I, I think Manchester City win the game 2-1. Um, I'm going to still be optimistic, but it, it, it's funny, isn't it? Obviously, Dortmund had to come out and score. That Manchester City did look nervous, and and once Dortmund did score, it, it seemed as if all the pressure released. Uh, Manchester City then got on the ball and had more possession, created a couple of chances. Obviously, Kevin De Bruyne's effort. Um, the pressure's been lifted. We've got a score now, so um, it's, it's plain and simple. So um, more of the same. Like I say, it, it did end up and better the, the first half there. It really, really did. Um, let's look at that that goal then, of course, that none of us wanted to see, but but, but it did happen. Um, did Was there more we could have done defensively, I guess, as a whole, Richard, with the goal? Um, I think probably when you look at the initial ball, maybe whether John Stones read the ball, the flight of the ball correctly or not, you can you can maybe look at. But um, after that, I mean, it's good play. You have to give it that. Haaland held it up well, laid it back. And how quickly Bellingham moved his feet when it came to him from the ricochet. He's like three touches, control, touch it, and, and the finish is lovely. Yeah, the finish is top corner. He's a he's a young kid, and we spoke before about he'll, he'll be up for it because he scored at the weekend. He's got the feeling for it, and he showed again tonight what a good player he is. And there's not a lot when when someone moves their feet that quickly inside the box and gets a shot away before anyone is set. It's so difficult to defend against. And I think. Yeah, you have to just give him credit. Yeah, it's similar to what Kevin De Bruyne had done the other end, and True. you start to think back to to the Leon game and whether our luck's not in again and stuff like that. It goes in one end, hits a bar the other end, and but it was a good, it was a good, it was a good goal by Dortmund. And in that midfield, because as you say, maybe if we were looking to stop them before, of course, that world class bit of quality that shone through. It felt a little bit to me, Kev, like we were struggling a little bit in midfield in those those 30 minutes. Can you, yeah. can you pinpoint what that was, or was it just Dortmund were so on it? They were so on it, yeah. I, I think they had the better of it. Not not just, obviously, possession-wise, because I think we probably end up having more possession, but I just think Dortmund did the ugly side of the game, that they were keen to, obviously, get balls forward and, uh, and get the second ball. And in terms of the midfield battle, I think Dortmund come out on top. Um, once we'd kind of found our feet, and I think it was a great point you said, Kev, that it did seem to go like, okay, the shackles were off a little bit. We grew into the game, and maybe you'd say we're a little bit unlucky not to be going in at least on level terms with Dortmund. Yeah, um, obviously the De Bruyne opportunity was a, was a great chance, and then the one where Foden kept it in, Mares nipped in, great touch, and. Mm. But again, what Dortmund have done, they've defended well. Yeah, they've they've put the bodies on the line and they've done it really well. So you've got to give them credit. And it's it's one of those you can start to lose the belief. City play a, a certain style of football, which has worked for them over the course of the last four or five years. Stick to it because it, they're good enough to create more opportunities. I think maybe Silva playing in the the false nine hasn't had the effect that he would he would have wanted to have, but. They've got they've got rotations within that team and within the eleven that's on the pitch, and they've got opportunities and. I think it's obviously everyone's a little bit nervous and you start to worry, but I think it's too early to get a bit too gloomy. I still think there's plenty more to go in this game. Lots more football to be played, and as we look to this second half, what do you think is being said in the the dressing room at this moment, Kev? I, th I think Pepper try and be calm. Obviously, he was a little bit animated at the time and, and will be disappointed. 
Um, but I think it's about cool heads now, being calm, knowing how good you are, um, but being in the moment and Manchester City are going to create chances. Have we got that cool head to finish? The, uh, and Dunny alluded to it really well. The, the worry for me was that they picked up quite a lot of ball in between, in behind Rodri in, in front of our back four, which if they get another could be really crushing for us. So um, hopefully they come out, clear the heads, calm minds and just get get back to the business. It'd be interesting to see how, how the, the mindset switches because obviously we, we, we spoke before, do, do we go for it, do you hold on to it? Now that's their problem. Are they going to then sit back a little bit more? Are mm. they going to invite pressure on it? A little bit like a chess game. It's going to be interesting to see the mentality and, and does that switch now. And I guess actually our avenues kind of been opened up to us and going, we do have to now go score. So, I mean, when, you, when you're looking at maybe changes that either of you would make where where do you think maybe you could look to on the bench for those bits of inspiration um i mean you could take a pick from the bench there's so many goal <laughs> scorers on the bench that the manager's got a huge choice and i think maybe you might look at cancello just for something different mm. to get that number nine on to get him disrupting their midfield because like kev says they have won the bottle in midfield the pass and when they go forward is crisp and directed straight into people's feet and they they do it really well so like I say, I still think it's too early maybe to make any substitutions, but I think in Sterling, Jesus and Cancelo, you've got players who can affect the game and affect the rhythm and the style of how the match goes. I think, I think we said about Sterling, didn't we, before, obviously not been great of late, but um, can affect this game. Oh, it'd be interesting, I, I'm, I'm with Danny on it, I don't think the changes will be happening just yet, but I think Sterling brings that unpredictability, that pace to, to, to stretch the back back line of Dortmund and then that may give the opportunity for the likes of De Bruyne, Foden to get in them pockets to be more more creative and, and more dangerous. And, and then finally just looking to the back and, and keeping that assuredness and solidness at the back now is going to be key isn't it Richard over the next four Yeah it's minutes. huge because they, they obviously have something to hang on to now yeah. but they've also got that trek going forward. We, we spoke before about maybe their best part of the team is the forward players. And I think if if we're not secure in that area, and we said about them getting the ball in and around Rodri has been causing us trouble, so I still think in, that, in this second half. The one thing is, which we don't lose the game before it's over, you know, wait and stay in the game. And if we score in the 90th minute, brilliant, but don't lose it, don't go gung-ho too soon. Lovely stuff, gents. Thank you very much. Um, all right, we'll take a slight pause then as we reflect on that first half and take a look at what some of you guys have been sending us on socials using the hashtag WNRH. Now, permit me uh, to use my phone while I do. Uh, we were asking you to send in uh, some pictures of you guys uh, on how you are watching the game this evening, of course, hoping for one of you to win that Manchester City shirt. So we had Halping Thomas, who got in touch on Twitter. Uh, he says, uh, lock out at the back tonight, please. Um, he's there watching it with his dad uh, and his, uh, his son, Liam. Uh, we've also got Kevin, who is over in Kenya, uh, what a place, uh, he says, Manchester City, come on, watching it by a pool, which looks pretty cool. And then as we look down here as well, um, we also had Daryl kind of tweet in to say, uh, tell you what, Champions League Horlock has outdone himself. Premier League Harlock looking Premier League in the suit, very dapper. I love that. Thank you very much. You like that? Did he win? <laughs> I, 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 I'll, 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 the I'll, I'll still be looking this dapper at the end. Sort of like saying the tie's come off. Well, so, come on. well, that's City's focus now, isn't it? Get the tie back on Kevin. That's what we want. Um, and before uh, we go, let's also, of course, look at some mystery blue guesses. This is who we're trying to work out uh, this week at Savagandas. Do you want to know what my dad's guess was when he texted me? Oh. Alano. My dad's guess was Alano, which I could maybe see. We had um, Tom Worrell, Ottawa Blue on Twitter says Gareth Barry. Um, Richard Law on Twitter says Andy Hinchcliffe. Um, and we had Venerso on Twitter who said Kolarov. Which, I mean, a colour of I could maybe see in there as well. They're all better guesses than, than what I've got at the what minute. Was, what, was, what, where was, what were you I was thinking? thinking Ed and Zeko. Ooh, okay, oh. yeah, 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 okay. I know what you mean, because they did have them dark attractions yeah. as well around this time. Oh, oh, they've just done it, it's good, but it's not quite right, Richard, okay. What about, what about Alano in the gallery? Is that a possible? No. No as well to Alano. Um, well, if you want to get your guesses in, uh, you just use the hashtag WNRH. And remember, if you have got a cool little setup, Manchester City themed, Manchester City themed setup, get it over to us, and we are going to be sending one lucky winner a Manchester City shirt. That could be yours. So just use the hashtag WNRH. Uh, myself, Richard, and Kevin are going to be back at full time 
hopefully talking about was progressing into that semi-final to take on PSG. But 45 minutes to go before that, where we do need a goal. So go get yourself a brew, take a breath, and hopefully, Kevin, are we going to do it? I hope so. Where's that potluck? <laughs> 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 right, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do it. Come we're on, gonna come do on it. Blues. Come on, City. We'll see you at full time.